Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 633. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 628 to 635. In this trick here, we want to be able to select from our drop down arrow here and highlight any date that is from the given year. Now, in our last video, 362, we saw how to do a formula for counting this, but here we want to learn how to do the conditional formatting. Now, um, this isn't too hard. We just are going to utilize the year function. The year function can look at any date. And if it is equal to this, uh, year function will look at a serial number and convert it to a year. And then we can say, hey, is that result equal to what's in this cell? So we'd get false, 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 true. In addition, we're going to need to highlight for any particular date, serial number that matches the year, we need to highlight this cell and this cell. So I'm going to highlight the whole range. And in the active cell right there, we have to build our true-false logical formula from the point of view of that cell right there. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D. And I'm going to use New Rule. Use Formula Determine and click right here. Now in 2003 or earlier, you click the Formula Is drop down in the very first part of the text box. Now, the conditional formatting text box. We want to use the year function equals Y-E-A-R, open parentheses, the year of this. Now that will just give us 2011, 2012, 2013, etc. But now we need to think about our cell references because this cell and this cell right near needs needs to be highlighted, so we're going to have to lock the column, but not the row. I'm going to hit the F4 key one and two times. The column reference is locked, but not the row. Close parentheses, straight, uh, nice and simple. Whenever that is equal to, and I'm going to click on D2, and that one can be locked in all directions. I'm going to click a format, some sort of format like that. Click OK. Click OK. Oops, I clicked font color. I don't want that. Format. Automatic. I'll go back to fill. More colors. I'll select that one right there. Click OK. Click OK. Click OK. There are fewer OKs in the earlier versions. There's three click OKs when you're done with your formula. Now I'm going to try it. test this. Looks like it's working. That is totally cool. Conditional formatting for a year from a transactional date. All right, we'll see you next trick.